here behind the scenes with the one and only, the legend himself, Dr. Willie Johnson. Well, I have only just a minute, only 60 seconds in it. Forced upon me, can't refuse it. Didn't seek it, didn't choose it, but it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it, give a count if I abuse it. Just a tiny little minute, but our eternities are wrapped up in it. Grateful to be here with Che Brown and the happy entrepreneur. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. We appreciate it. And look, um, we have a saying here called today is my January 1st. And today is my January 1st. And that kind of represents that moment. Anytime during the day where you have to make a decision that changes the trajectory of your life, you either go to the gym or you sit on the couch. You either eat a hamburger or eat fruits and vegetables. You either become an entrepreneur or you continue to read books and watch YouTube videos. Take a moment and talk about the importance of today is my January 1st. And let them know that today is your January 1st and what that means as a reboot, as a restart in order to get going. Well, today is my January 1st. And I believe that when I wake up every day, the day is my January 1st. Because when you get a mindset of a January 1st, you get an energy, you get an enthusiasm, you get a power to be able to go out and do something because you're excited and enthusiastic and you're expecting something good from today. So today is my January 1st and we've set some goals that will help us to make this January 1st an exceptional day and then we keep repeating the process it's like shampoo which uh -huh. neither one of us need <laughs> it's it's you do it then you rinse and repeat if you want success you rinse and repeat and so today my january 1st and it's time to win today. what i admired most about today was that not only did you teach us about the importance of goal setting but we actually did real work here i mean i was writing in my phone the exercises one of my favorite exercises dr jolly was first write down my top 10 goals and then behind those top 10 goals writing bigger so i went back to each goal and i wrote a little bit bigger than i wrote before i'm not gonna tell them all you guys my goals right now but i took each goal and i went up a whole nother level then you had us write down our 10 year goal then you went through some steps now i can't give them a recap they got to take care of that but here's my question to you because you've done so much over the years uh talk about why you still do something as basic no offense to you as ready to win now goals the reason is because it works. <laughs> you know, if you found a recipe for a great chocolate cake and it was award winning and people loved it and they bought it in great droves, you'd recreate that recipe. You keep doing that. If it was working, you keep working it. And so what I have found is that goals work. Years ago, I was setting resolution or making resolution. What's your New Year's resolution? I'm going to be happy this year. I'm going to lose some weight this year. I'm going to get healthy this year. I'm going to be intentional this year. And, and that was all nice and good, but it didn't, it didn't work. But when I started learning about goals, and I started setting goals, I started heading goals. I wasn't just a goal setter. I was a whole goal header and a goal getter. And so that's when it started changing, and I started setting a goal. Like the car I drive, I set a goal for that. Uh, the house I live in, I set a goal for it. And I uh, started, the wife I live with, <laughs> that kind of, sort of, I knew the smart woman I needed to get. You set goals for whatever it is you want, what kind of money you want to generate, what kind of life. So goals work, that's why I do it. Now, if I gave you all a, a baseball and said, hit a wall, any wall, could you hit the wall? Of course you could hit the wall. Now, if I gave you the baseball, put a blindfold over your face, and turned you around 10, 20 times so you didn't know where you were in the room, is it still easy to hit the wall that you hit earlier? No. Why? Because you can't hit what you can't see. And you can't hit what you don't. Goals help you clarify in your brain how your brain works. If I say to you, Rose, what do you think of? Think of a picture of a flower. What color did you think of? Red, yellow, white? Huh? Which one? Okay. None of you thought of R O S E, the letters, did you? No. Because our brain works in pictures. And when you set the picture and you clarify the picture, your brain says, that's it. That's what we're going to go get. Let's go get it. 
Wow. If you okay, give so your, your final thoughts, your closing comments to so those folks that now have to get up, um, they're going to get their goals set. Now they got to achieve them. Give them some words of encouragement, some words to allow them to keep on going no matter what. Some folks are doing very, very well, and they're just going to another level. And others have to get, get, get going, and we understand that as well. So what is Dr. Willie Jolly's uh, comments to those folks that are out there right now? Thanks for taking time behind the scenes, man. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for allowing me to participate. I mean, what you're doing is special because it's not happening in the industry as much anymore. Uh, folks don't invite them to their, to their private homes and the, the private setting. It just doesn't happen. So I'm glad you still have that personal touch. I'm glad people can still reach you, reach uh, D. Jolly. Um, you got some some special stuff, man. So keep on doing what you're doing. Well, I just want to give you a charge that will help you to grow your business. I have to ask you, if you only had a year to live and you couldn't fail, what would you attempt? What would you try? And if you could achieve something spectacular, what would it be? Think beyond just today, but think about what you want to leave a legacy and the impact it can have. And so I, I leave you with this little quote I love. It says, follow your dream wherever it leads. Don't be distracted by less worthy needs. Shelter, nourish, help it to grow. Hold your dream deep, down deep your dreams grow. Follow your dream, pursue it with haste. Life is too precious, too fleeting to waste. Be faithful, be loyal. And all the day through, the dream that you follow can keep coming true. With that being said, thanks a lot, Dr. Willie Jolly, the man himself. We appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you continue your falls over at www.happyentrepreneurshow.com. I want you to know that you're amazing. I want you to know that you're incredible. And for every single one of you, stay in the game and continue to make a difference in the world. And as you said today, and I learned, have your giver's goal. How are you going to give back? But in order to give back, you got to go get something. I learned that today. I learned that today. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm borrowing that. I'm borrowing that. I got to go get something before I can give something. So have your givers go. Thanks a lot, man. We'll see you all later. Talk to you later. God bless.